Good morning. Where will human leaders flee when God at last holds them accountable for their rebellion? Our reading today is at Jeremiah 25, verses 34 through 38. Wail, shepherds, and cry, roll about in the ashes, you leaders of the flock. For the days of your slaughter and your dispersions are fulfilled. You shall fall like a precious vessel. And the shepherds will have no way to flee, nor the leaders of the flock to escape. A voice of the cry of the shepherds and a wailing of the leaders to the flock will be heard. For the Lord has plundered their pasture. And the peaceful dwellings are cut down because of the fierce anger of the Lord. He has left his lair like a lion. For their land is desolate because of the fierceness of the oppressor and because of his fierce anger. Those who were made leaders and who thought themselves appointed to shape and control others placed themselves in rebellion against God rather than doing right for those humans over whose lives they held a degree of power. They lorded it over them. Psalm 2 tells the truth. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed. Put simply, God gave them an inch and they took a mile. Watch this. Human governments always go beyond their mandate. It's kind of an inevitability. They not only provide order for the society, and that's not bad, but they always go beyond that and begin reordering it, begin messing around and, and reorganizing things. They sort of come to a, they, they take the role, a godlike role, and begin to sort things out way beyond what they should do. They begin remaking a society after the image that the current crop of leaders imagine and so therefore they begin to replace God's plan with some other plan. God is forgotten and his harmonies are forgotten. And then the leaders become corrupted. They become, you know, small g gods. They put their control over others. Friends, the political game is a mistake for Christians. That's not our business. God is king. He's not merely the governor of a state or a province. He's, he's the king of kings. Don't we get it? God is the ultimate judge and and. Nobody wants to be judged, and so they're always kind of pulling down, pulling God down off of his throne. They know they're doing wrong. They don't want to be judged, and so this higher morality is always a problem for them. And here in Jeremiah, we see that ultimately, at the end, there will be no way for these leaders to flee from accountability. God will hold them accountable. You know, if the kitchen's too hot, you shouldn't go into the kitchen. If it's too hot for you, you shouldn't do it. If you're going to be a leader, you better do it God's way because you'll be held accountable by the Lord of Lords. These leaders are going to face their maker over how they have treated their fellow humans. Not only goodness, but uh, judgment is coming too, justice. And so those people who find themselves with a degree of responsibility over others, we'd better be careful and make sure we're doing everything God's way. I'd say again, the political game is a mistake. It's not for Christians. No real, strong, long-term change is going to happen that way. It just isn't. God's government is the right one. He is the king. And we are subjects first of all, above all, first of all of God's kingdom. Yes, I, I'm an American, but above and beyond that, more than that, higher uh, fealty than that is my fealty to the Lord of Lords. And we're not Americans first and Christians second. We are Christians first and anything else after that. So let's always remember that that uh, that hierarchy there. God is God and everything else isn't. So there will be accountability, says Jeremiah. And it looks it doesn't look very pretty, does it? Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, because the world around us in this age now has become super politicized, uh, almost everything seems like it's seen in the terms of secular politics. Lord, for us Christians, we understand this is a mistake. This is not your plan for us. Help us, Lord, to be wise to this. Help us to always have the kingdom first. Help us to know that how we spend our energies is very important, and we need to spend them on the kingdom first. Lord, we want to pray for the leaders of the nations, uh, whether they're legitimate or illegitimately there. We pray that you'll overcome and help them not to cause havoc and mayhem, that we can live quiet and peaceable lives serving you and not imposing ourselves on others. And we will bow down to you. And everything else is subsequent to that. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. May God judge us all in his mercy, and sooner rather than later. God be with you.